Hello, hello everybody, this is 41 Solstice 25, Winter Solstice Day, etc, etc, and I am going, I figured you would probably be interested in seeing a little more as to how I tried to make something a little more curved, more specifically something that's curved and symmetrical. Now, one of the big important things is to have an idea of a center. Now, there are several things you can do for this. You could start from the center line from a location you think will suit you most. Or you could, like, or if you haven't uh, found one end to another yet, you'll have to start from one location and then just sort of develop a center as you go and then make the rest symmetrical to how you built the first part of it. Okay, now let's get a little more ideal as to situating this. Now, I don't know how I want this yet. More specifically, how I want this to curve. But I do know I want it to meet at that line, for sure. And if I can meet it up to that line, I should be able to mimic it to the other side fine, because on this side, we have this bit here that will make it a bit more of a tight sort of curve to get there. And then on this end, we don't as much. So if we get this side taken care of, this side should be a breeze, basically. Now, I don't know how far out I want my center to be, but I do know I want it actually um, far out enough that I don't run into that. So, spots like this are way too close, most likely. So I can actually just sort of remove that. And I'm going to be placing on the ground. Let me think. What's a good number to start by? I think I know. In fact, actually, let's use this. Actually, should I use iron? I have kind of neglected it. I'll admit that. It might actually be a good idea to use iron for this, actually. Okay, let's start with a little diagonal. Actually, that's not subtle enough with this kind of corner, is it? Actually, maybe it is subtle enough. Some diagonal. Like, let's go f seven. I wanted to say five, but seven sounds a little more assuring. Hmm, let me think. Let's add one, two here. Let's go three more ones. A bit more of a diagonal again. Then another two. Now, here's most of the idea for those unfamiliar. If you're starting from a point like this, which would be a little more like a corner or something, you have to. Uh, be, have a little more diagonal to it, where it's like the very corner more most area, and then like, like let's say this is is our circle. We would be about here on the circle, and we are trying to cover this, or at least a decent amount of this spot area. Now to actually curve, it's actually a bit of um awkward placement of different amounts of just like pixels in a scenario of this sort. But when you actually let's leave this up for a bit longer. But if you're going from here, it's gonna be a little more diagonal than say here. 
but the kind of uh, number fluctuations of like where you're placing it is gonna like when you're developing that kind of thing is gonna go from like m from more of these to less basically and maybe even more of these until you get to like something bigger and it adds more curve to it and that actually makes it a lot more circle like and it's very effective in fact if you use a circle generator for helping you figure out how to build a circle in minecraft you will likely see a lot of these like that's something i've realized and it's helped me uh... figure out much really for actually building circles in Minecraft. So yeah, that's been a big help. Let's see. Actually, this three might have been too soon. Let's stick with a four. As you can see, it is developing some of that curve that it needs. Now this is about the part where we start getting into threes. And it has this much nicer, more subtle curving to it. Okay, now I'm thinking continuing another three would be a bad idea, so let's jump right at a four. And let's do one more three for good measure. A four, let's do a five. Because at this point, we need it to basically go a little stronger now. Seven. Nine. Something I should mention is you might not necessarily need to stick along odd numbers. There's going to be some even numbers also. If you do it too quickly, it will actually look a little odd. Like it won't be like perfect circle material. But for this it doesn't really have to be a circle material really. So that isn't really an issue, is it? I think I'll have it like so, and I'm probably just going to duplicate it onto the other side. With MC Edit to save myself the trouble of looking back and forth on numbers. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll be right back shortly. Okay, so this is how it is looking. I think it is looking quite nice. I didn't quite remove the purple wool right there, though, but. It's fine until I need something else there. And so far, I like how this is looking. I think this will, this particular outline is going to be more of the outside of it. And I'll be 
decorating that accordingly. So yeah. At the very least we now have a shape for the back. Which is very good. Because there's all kinds of things I want done back here. Up high, down low, etc. It really does look pretty cool. I really like that. Alrighty. Let's head over here. Let's try to start up a little something. Why am I going on the floor? We don't take the floor around here. Only occasionally. Let's use one or two pillars of this. As a starter piece. Thinking for the back, I might not go quite as uh, detailed fancy as this because someone su gave me a suggestion and I kind of like the sound of it. They were saying that maybe I could, I should try to like fit in sort of like a city or something in here. And I was thinking that might actually be cool. <coughs> Like, as I recall, in, uh, also they kind of mentioned this, there's a city in the Pokemon games that's sort of, like, concealed inside of an area, basically. Now, I'm terrible with city names. Let's see, this is, like, in... Ruby and Sapphire, Sapphire and Emerald. Now, according to them, in like one of the newer ones, there's like um, a city basically concealed inside of a building or something like that. That part I also found interesting because I actually did a tried a bit of a project where. I would basically shove a city inside of a giant tower. For those unfamiliar, that would be my high ground tower project. I should probably be trying to get these to reach about the same height as the others. Basically there. But yeah, I really like the idea, and I think I will actually like try that to at least some extent. It could be pretty fun, it could also turn out pretty cool. And I was thinking, it could be like the temple keepers or something. Like, the people who watch over this place keep it clean and wipe off the bird crap from the statue. I mean, let's be honest. Someone's got to do that dirty work. And I sure as hell don't want to be the one to do it. So, if you don't want to be the one to do it, hire someone else to do it. It's the perfect solution. And some people really take care of their bird crap, so why not get a professional? They will get rid of it so well, you won't even realize it was ever there. Swap this with some stone brick until I come up with some better form of color to use toward this. 
Some brick will do. Or at least for some of this it will do. I suppose I could try to like pattern it out or something. First let's get some of this going before I go trying to make any gutsier moves to this in any way, shape, or form. Aha! Did it that time. I don't really try for, for that much, so... I always get a little excited whenever I pull it off. I'm going to add a bit more to this off camera and I will show you guys what I get going after that. Okay, so while off camera, I added in more wall, roughly up to where other wall existed. As I put these pillar sort of pillars and it's just sort of randomized there is no like s specific order in besides how one's mirrored to the other really other than that it's very randomized <laughs> and someone on DeviantArt suggested I build a city on the inside of the Temple of Ionite I like this trade of thoughts, but I really do wonder if I can finish that. Now, I actually did this little bit within like an hour or two. But here's what I kind of set up here. <coughs> Added a way to another building. I have a way here which will connect to a few locations. One of which it will be up here, which will have some stairs or something somewhere. And I want like a building right here, or maybe over there, maybe both. And let's get a better look at these. So yeah, I did some pretty nice touches for these, considering what an hour or two is worth. I've also uh, kind of furnished this. Yes, you did just hear a horse. And... I forgot to get rid of that sword. But if you want to sit down, you can sit down. What the? Oh, I just realized that rotated back. Dang it. Hmm. Sec. Let me see if I can fix this. R equals to That's a period. My right hand was somewhere else. Type equals entity horse. Negative to ninety zero. And now it's working correctly. What is it should? Why aren't you working correctly? Well, damn. <laughs> Oh, there goes that plan. I guess it's because it's not f 
physically visible, but it is a horse and it is right here, for sure. And something else, I kind of gave the horse storage. So there's an entity data tag that said horse chest. And just for the fun of it, I put it to the test, and it worked. <laughs> so derpy. But yeah, I kind of furnished this place. I kind of started up some stuff over here. It's mostly just sort of like a area going up and down, sort of. And I also have this here. Now, this might not be the finished product for this being here, but it's something here and it adds a little something else here, a little more flavor. I purposefully did not finish <laughs> this little spot here with more fences. Like, I have thought about ideas of if someone wanted to, like, PvP each other in this place. They'd be able to get some, like, pot shots or something with a bow. So, yeah. I've been putting stuff like that into consideration as I build. Now I was trying to make a few more open locations and such. Like some with like very limited movements and such. Slight cover, but not entire cover. Sketchy locations. Doorways, etc. And a little more maze-like, really. Like, that's kind of what I wanted to go for. I wanted the pathways to be a little more confusing. Like, I expect people to get lost in this, hopefully. <laughs> if I'm to actually fully continue with a city, to say. Or even, like, a, like a sort of a village or something. And over here could be, like, um where they get some of their stuff at, or maybe a few more houses, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking of. I want some just, like, coming out of the wall. Hmm. suppose I should get started with this one more. need these sticking out. And I need to make sure this looks supported enough. So yeah, I figured you guys would probably want to see how I would like try to set up some of the makings of houses and a village that would be a little more fit for going inside of the Temple of Ionite. That's a thought you don't think of much, is it? Like even I didn't really think about it too much. Like I knew I wanted like some stuff in here. Like, I knew I wanted more structure and maybe, like, some, like, keepers of the temple. Then someone suggested a city, and I'm like, that might be interesting. A temple with a city, basically, inside of it. Granted, I can't make it a very 
crazy city, but I can make it at least interesting. Like, realistically, there's only so big that I can make a city and so elaborate. Not that this isn't much space. I mean, it's we've got space, really. But we gotta take in consideration that it's the Temple of Ionite. So with this sort of going here, I've been thinking about how I'm actually going to connect these up. Now, I am going to make this come around through the back and connect to that one. That is a very likely guarantee. So that's something I'm kind of looking forward to getting to. Like, I think it's going to make the shape up a little more, and it's going to make things find their place a lot easier. Yes, this is looking alright. Let's make this a little taller. If we're going to fit people inside of it, it needs to be taller. Otherwise, we're making it for ants. And I do not like ants in my home. Do you like ants in your home? Maybe if it's an ant farm, that's one thing. But if it's straight up ants, you don't want them. And you know what? I wasn't sure about going about this, but let's try it on. Ah, oh, what am I stuck on? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I, I did remove it. For a second there, I thought I didn't. Uh, uh, you thought I wasn't going to catch on, but I totally did. Yeah, building this kind of structure is also very good because then I can shove and stuff like this and it'll be like auto supported by the build. Oh. It would be here. I just fly straight up. And break, 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 break. Let that meet up. Now we have supports to this and to this going. Alleluia. Just set another of these in here. Knuckleheads to the other side. <coughs> and I'm thinking for this middle section. We are going to fill this in with spruce fence, or at least to a very grand amount. And for the record, I don't place a whole lot of fence usually. So this has some practice for me in building as well as for you to watch me build. Like I have some understanding of what I need to go for for properly placing the fence, but I don't normally place much fence.
And once this is in, this will look a lot more supported, which is very good because it needs support. it doesn't look supported, then it doesn't look proper. And that will make it very awkward. Yeah, I think it's going to be easier if I like go about it from above. be easier going up and down with it is what I mean versus going back forth back forth it's much easier going up down up down more specifically it's easier if you go something like this I think that's how I did it in the past to make it more bearable. Oh, stop placing them on the side. Okay, there's at least that much. It'll give us some bits of privacy as people try to cross through, and it will also make this seem a little more supported in certain sections. But I should also consider doing this area also. I am going to fill this in off camera as long as I have another spot or two with fences. Okay, so this is what we got so far. Now I ran it from top to bottom with the fences. I also got kind of started with this. Like I put a roof over it. And I also did some of the arcing. Sort of like the basic supports of it, really. Okay. Now I need to think, what do I want to set as the main wall of this? I know I want like a few extra bookshelves I don't normally get in here. So before I set the wall, I want to set some of my standard. So I know I want a huge bookshelf here. Okay. So I was thinking for a wall, I would set it right here. Or at least for the back wall. Now what might be a nice color to use for that? Let's see, what have we been using down here? Mostly stones. 
What if we tried something a little slightly different? Like rather than just simply stone, how about something I don't normally use? I think this might actually go pretty decently. Like let's just try it right here. That's not too bad. How does it fit here? Still not so bad. And it makes it uh, have a bit of this important feel to it versus the others where this is a place of slightly more significance. And here's my thoughts to this. This could be like uh, the mayor or something. Or like town hall chief, whatever you want to call it, and correlations of a village inside of a temple. <laughs> I mean, really, what do you actually call that? Headmaster of the temple? I don't know. Headkeeper? Maybe headkeeper. Shove some of this down toward the bottom. And something else I should do is do that over here as well. So far that doesn't look too bad. Alrighty. I gotta try something a little different with this. So, so far, I was saying I might want something of this sort, right? I think if it's just like one big wall of it, it might be too plain. So something I was thinking. Let's see, where do we have it? Let's give this a bit of a shot in here also. Get that out of there. Maybe give this a bit more of like a border. And then we can add in a little more. But we're not going to see much from that end. So it's going to be you defined a bit better by the inside. So whatever I want to use on the inside to this wall is basically going to go fine. Just slightly more depth. 
some needs, some spots. Yeah, something like this. This already feels a bit more like what you would want as like a little office area. And maybe like a few like books like other people aren't going to be able to get their hands on. Yeah. I like it. Hmm. if I want this filled in or just left like this. Hmm, I guess like this is fine. Can remove bookshelves from my inventory for now. But we gotta make this place feel a little busier. That's a little too symmetrical. You didn't see anything. Um, maybe one of these over here, and I'll be like his personal thing. Actually, no, let's get the very damaged, because we've been very, very busy here. So, we've been getting a lot done, and we need to make it feel more done. I guess this could be right here. To make this more special as the front, I'm going to use a little extra work into this. Like so. Let's add some of you in here. Alright, now for some of the finishing touches on this building in particular. We're going to grab some of this, and then we're going to grab some of this. What I'm going to do is something of this sort. Lamb, it's looking pretty important. But before we call this done, there's a couple more things I want to add. Okay, this is from the wrong side. So and so. this through here. Okay. Now we want to add one final detail to this. Then we have this kind of image that can be put in. 
this would be very good with sort of like a more RP kind of style thing going on. Like, hey, what's up? It'll be like someone walking in and stuff, and you'll be like, the person here would be like the person of wisdom and more wizard and such or something. Or all knowing. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, this place looks pretty busy. Like, stuff has actually been kind of been going on in here. And, like, it's maybe even, like, a place of vital importance of certain sorts. Yeah, this is lovely. Oh. But that just... <laughs> that misplacement actually just brought out an excellent point. We should have some form of lighting out here. Rather than looking for this in my inventory, I'll just snatch it from there. Hmm. Maybe that's a little too inward. So let's try about here. And that looks a little more subtly appropriate. Maybe, like, some right here as well, just to even out the lighting. Yeah. This is looking great. Anyway, I think that's probably going to have to do it for this video. It's been carrying on a little longer than I would have hoped to make it drag on for. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have any building suggestions, like little buildings to toss around in here, let me know in the comments. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I am Winter Solstice 8, 401 Solstice 25, and have a good day. Bye-bye. He says with a fence in hand.